I love these. Let me check my time. Okay, I got exactly 26 minutes on this SD card. But welcome to Vlogmas Day One. Don't look at the background or anything. This is kind of like a um, I had to hurry up and get this done kind of thing because I didn't want to disappoint you guys and I wanted to start on day one. If I disappoint you all, then I disappoint myself at the same time. So I had to do something. So today I kind of went shopping at Dollar Tree because you know that's my favorite store and you can find a lot of good stuff there for a little of nothing, you know. Not to say that I still won't go to like Burlington or TJ Maxx or Marshalls to find like um, the things that I want to show you tonight. Uh, but these were just things that I saw that I was there and I said, hey, I might as well get them. You should never buy tape anywhere else except Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, for a dollar and it's 3M scotch tape, you know, you can't go wrong with it. So I would say don't go anywhere else for it because you will be paying like four or five dollars and up. I went to one store, it's a grocery store, and they had mailing tape for like $9.99. I was like, what? This is crazy. It wasn't it wasn't Walgreens or anything. Walgreens is slightly cheaper than that, but they're expensive too when it comes to mailing tape and stuff. And I was like, hey, why? Why are you like overpricing this product? You know what I mean? So you'll get a lot of that because of the holidays, but they they do this year round, this particular grocery store, which will remain nameless because I shop there a lot whatever but anyway um i hope you guys are doing great we are looking forward to the holiday season um 2020 was super sad for me i did not want to put up a christmas tree or anything i had two loved ones that i lost and i just thank god that i'm kind of in a better place uh nobody can prepare you for grief you know what i mean because it's just something that you go on with and you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis you know it affected me in so many ways like you know health wise in my opinion i was losing sleep just different things like that, you know. So I'm just trying to like get myself together and you know be in a great place and stuff like that. Um, having like friends and family to help me through it is always good. Um, talking to somebody, crying about it when you have to. Um, trying not to dwell on it, you know. There's also another good way to kind of deal with grief, and um, because these people were so close to me, my mom and my mother-in-law, it hurt me, you know, even more so because you know they're my loved ones and I talk to them day to day you know and one of them even live with us you know so you know that being said um you know i'm just thankful i think this year i could put up a tree i feel it a little bit more my daughter's birthday was not too long ago um if you did if you did see that vlog then just check it out when you get a chance and um i'm gonna quickly go through all the dollar tree haul stuff so this is vlogmas day one and um if you are dealing with grief as i have and kind of still is in the past and still dealing with it now you know what i mean just take your time with it um don't rush yourself don't let people allow you to tell you like um you should be over it when you know maybe they think you should be getting over it faster than than what you're getting over it you know everybody processes grief in a different way i found that out you know um so just basically just you know do you try to find outside, outside like resources to help you out and my outlet was youtube honestly i started my blog right after my mother passed away on may 10th or so of 2020 she passed on may 6th so i said you know i needed like a creative outlet something that where i felt like i hopefully could put my mind and energy into something else besides feeling sad all the time because she was gone and she lived such a long time and i'm so blessed that she did she was really my grandma she raised me as her own she was my mom, you know, because she raised me from like five years old and up. And um, she did so much for me. And I love her dearly. May she rest in peace. My mother in law, she always was a, a resource you know, person that helped us here at home. She helped my husband out of mind. She helped me with the kids, you know, uh, when she had time. So I just thank God um, for those people in my life. And I'm glad that they were in my life for the season. So, because Christmas is a happy time, and I want you guys to be happy, and you know, you click on the video to see what I found. I found some new stuff too, guys, that you may not know about. So, uh, let's talk about these two items right here. I'll get you these. This is called the two in one foot file. I didn't know they had these, so I got one for me and my daughter. Uh, it's by the brand Sassy and Chic. So, you basically just you know, scrub. I would say do this after a shower or a bath 
So if you have anything on the bottom of your feet, it'll easily rub off, you know? So these are at Dollar Tree. Who do? Luckily, I had a little time to just kind of look around. I'm used to all their like Christmas supplies and everything. So um, I just found these cute little bags. I think I got 10 of these, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it also has the little tags on it where you can put the name to and from on here, which is super cute. Um, I also find the plastic bags uh, over at like TJ Maxx. And I think they're $1.99, which is not bad. And they're bigger and you can put a lot more stuff in them. These are made out of paper. So they may tear and you put a lot too much stuff in it. So I would also go and check out TJ Maxx and get those bags over there. And they come in different designs and they're very cute. And I think they're like $2. 208 with tags or 214, something like that. Uh, but anyway, this one is Happy Holidays. Ooh, so cute. And this one is Merry Christmas. I think the one design is really cute. They're very sturdy bags. I've used this before. Happy Holidays. I got quite a few of Happy Holidays. So, yeah, I got like three or four of those. And then they have Happy Holidays with like a mistletoe on it. That's super cute. And Joy to the World. Oh, this is very pretty. So, you know, just get little things like this will put you in the Christmas spirit if you're not there yet. Um, then there's Merry Christmas. Cute little polar bear. So, um, honestly guys, they almost didn't have much. People have actually scoured through the shelves and everything at like Dollar Tree. I was like, wow, am I in the right place? The only thing they did have was like a lot of like um, bags and Christmas wrapping and just like things to decorate with. It just really wasn't in stock. The things that I found like in 2019, because I didn't shop for like really a lot of Christmas items in 2020. Um, I wasn't filming it, like I said. Uh, but in 2019, they don't have the same products now in 2021. So that's another thing with Dollar Tree. You have to get the stuff when it's good. Um, so let's just go through the wrapping paper. Um, this one says Merry Christmas. Hopefully you can see these designs. It's really pretty. Um, and this one looks like that. This is for my niece. Um, it's like the LOL creation. I think this is super cute for a child, you know. Very sturdy wrapping paper. Um, I get it just kind of add to what I probably feel like back from Kohl's or TJ Maxx because I know they have like the three rolls in one and, and usually it's like $9.99 which to me for that super heavy duty wrapping paper is not a lot you know. Um, then there's the Santa Claus one. It's cute. Does he have a sleigh? Yeah there's a sleigh in this one. But you know check your local Dollar Tree. You might guys might have different designs than what I have. Um, now they're all falling, of course. Um, this one has a reindeer and a car on it. Let me see what they're by. Um, it just says Christmas house. They have grid lines on the back, which helps you with cutting, you know, and putting everything in order so you don't over, um, you know, over wrap your gift or use too much paper, which is really good. And this is just a snowman with a pretty scarf on. Yeah, most of these are all by Christmas house. This is just the Merry Christmas one. And this one says Merry Christmas to you. So that's the difference in that one. Okay. I might have showed you this one already. I'm not sure. No, yeah, this is Santa again with the sleigh and he's checking his list. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is so cute. Probably for my niece or nephew. Two 
Um, I think that is a great place to get Christmas cards at Dollar Tree, guys. You cannot go wrong. I got some uh, Christmas cards for my son's teachers. And um, just awesome that I got this here. My friend Liz, she always sends me a Christmas card every year. And this time, I got to be in a tea punch because she always sends me something. She's so sweet. I, I got to definitely send her uh, a Christmas card, which I always return, send it back, but I'm always late in doing it. And I do return, you know, the sentiment. And I think it's very, like, kind of her to always think of us and send us a card. She's super sweet. And um, she's a NICU nurse. And I love her. Um, so yeah, so these are the Christmas cards. And like I said, you can't go wrong getting Christmas cards at Dollar Tree. Um, oh, and guess what? There's like Hallmark. The Heartline, Heartline is a Hallmark company, so you still bump Dollar Tree, okay? You can get those Hallmark cards at Walgreens and everywhere else, but they're gonna cost you. I was so glad to see they now sell eyebrow razors. Who knew? You know, I'm always doing those eyebrow tutorials for you all, so your girl needs these. <laughs> uh, like I said, take Scotch, name brand, 3M, and I've used this before. It's a very good brand, and they give you two for the price of one. Where are you going to get that at for now? Come on now. And I got a bunch of those. Um, got this ribbon, pretty ribbon. That was there. Oh, I got the mailing tape. The one's a $9.99. It was a dollar. It's by Jot. That's the Dollar Tree brand, Jot. But they also have a 3M brand, which I don't know why I need two of these. But this was in, like, the office supplies aisle. The Jot one was in with the uh, Christmas decor and things like that aisle. So you might find those at different places. Just kind of look around if you have time, you know. So this, basically, this bag is all tape. I got a pretty good amount of tape because I need it. Also, guys, sorry I had to get out of frame for a minute. Um, these ornaments. I forgot the color of my tree because I haven't put it up since 2019. I think it's white, but I forget what the ornament colors are. But I thought I like the silver better than the gold because to me, their gold ones look just cheesy and cheap. So I wasn't feeling it. But these are really cute. And they give you, I think it's 10 in here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, actually 12. 12 ornaments in here. So, I thought those were super cute. Also, I got these little trays. Aren't they so cute? Oh my god, these are so cute for decor. Um, they just got them in. These are so cute. So, you see, they had two of these, but they didn't have two of the tray that I wanted. Oh, sorry, guys. And they have these cute little ornaments. And of course, they're shedding glitter everywhere, but they're so cute. You might even see some fall off the camera, but that's cute. Cute little gels. I got two of those, actually, and I'm only going to show it to you like that because I don't want glitter all over the floor. Um, then they have the ornament hooks. Definitely need these. I'm shocked they even had these because they didn't have any gift tags. See, I got some more tape. There will be a time there won't be any tape soon. I'm telling you guys. Uh, I got this. This tape is for like mounting stuff on the wall. Um, I don't believe in those hooks anymore. I told you guys about the hooks. They, they're like, you know, generic 3M hooks. And they're plastic. They keep falling off the wall. So they're no good. So I suggest you get the 3M ones from Target. If you need to hook something on your wall, like um, substantial, you know, uh, the Dollar Tree don't really have any good hooks, you know. I tried it, and they keep falling off the wall, so I give up on that. Um, I'll show you everything in here. Yes, I showed you everything in here. That's mostly tape in those bills, and I showed you the ornaments. And this was so cute. I only found one of these. Merry Christmas. Is that not cute? Oh, my gosh. I think that's so adorable. So, I haven't done the decorating yet. So I'm going to do that. And you guys will see a separate vlog about that. Okay. Then I got this. Table covers. Red, of course. It's that. They didn't have much wrapping paper. They didn't have the color I wanted, which was red and green, of course. They were sold out of that. 
So I had to get these colors. And I think they only give me eight sheets. And this one says happy birthday. Oh my gosh. Well, guess what? Someone's got to get something that says happy birthday. I didn't notice it. Oh well. Too late. <laughs> All of them say happy birthday. I'm just not noticing that. That is funny. Oh, these were so cute. These little flannel table covers. This is going to be so good. And then I got this one in black too. So I got to see which one I want to use. I also have some table mats that I don't have up here. But check them out for like table mats. Um, the table mats are really, really pretty. They didn't have any festive ones, which is what I was looking for, but I found some with like inspirational messages uh, because I have some blessed ones that I've had a while, since like 2019, and they hold up really well for a dollar. You can't beat that. Um, and they're like made out of vinyl, vinyl table mats that you can put on your um, table, and they're really cute and decorative, but they didn't have any festive um, Christmas ones. I guess they sold out of those as well. So if you wait too late, you won't get anything at all. Let's see. Okay, there's... This is the white one. Now, guys, I'm going to go into, I've been trying to give you this haul forever. The Barnes & Noble book haul that we, my kids and I, we actually went to Barnes & Noble about 10 weeks ago. And believe it or not, we went with some gift cards. And we had to pay money to Barnes and gave me some extra money too, like in case the gift cards weren't enough, which they weren't. But I'm thankful for the thought of gift cards. You cannot go wrong with gift cards because they lasted an entire year. My husband had those gift cards because he kept forgetting to give them to me for like a year, okay? So I was like, what? Really? So when he brought them to me, it was great because I only had to pay like 60 or 80 more dollars to go with the Barnes and Noble books that the kids wanted and the books that I wanted. So it was really good. So you can't go wrong with uh, gift cards. So here's Barnes and Noble. The first book is Drawing Cartoons from Numbers and Letters, 125 plus step by step. Uh, this is more than 8 million best selling books sold. Wow. He's a best selling author. This is Christopher Hart Books for Kids. And of course, this is Barnes and Noble, so you know everything was mostly regular price, $14.95. <laughs> they don't play about their books. Uh, this is another Christopher Hart book. And I thought it was the same one as this one, but this was drawing cartoons from numbers. So this one is different, thank God, because I was like, when I looked at it, I was like, please don't let this be the same. That would be such a waste of money, you know? Um, again, this one, he had 7 million books sold worldwide for this one. And this one cost $14.95. And I hope I told you guys this book well. So maybe we can hopefully do some... Um, artistic stuff for you guys too. I know we were supposed to do a lot of that last year, we only did one, because the kids just are not motivated, you know. It's mostly my daughter, I can get my son to do stuff. My, my daughter, when she does all the homework and stuff, she just don't really feel like drawing. And honestly, she's a great artist. I know you guys hear me say that a lot, but she is. I'll have to show her, show some of her stuff Monday soon. Um, I also got this for my son, Five Minute Stories, the Sleepy Time Collection. Now I can finally read these to him because, or he can read them himself because he knows how to read well. Um, but it's Thomas and Friends, Five Minute Stories, The Sleepy Time Collection. And I think this is cool. Okay. And how much was it? This was $12.99. So now that I'm showing them to you, I can finally read them to him. Mm -hmm. Then I got the foot book by Dr. Seuss for him. Who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? Whether you're a big kid or a little Starbucks is another place that does not play. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's see. This one is my first big book of Monsters. A coloring book. So this is going to be good for the kids. Oh, we might be able to do something like Christmas with this. You know, if they don't want to draw, then they can color. So try to get this for your kids, too. This one was affordable, guys. $8.99. So maybe do something like this with your kids, you know? And then you can just decorate it, like make something like really festive with them and make it Christmassy. It's a good idea. We might do that for vlogmas, hopefully. If they feel like doing it. Otherwise, it might just be me. Oh, and this one is good. Welcome Words. A Sesame Street Language Guide for Making Friends. This was $5. You see how they said cheap? Right. So, you know I grabbed that. Yeah, it's a Sesame Street book. So, basically, this book has six languages in it. It has Welcoming Words. A Sesame Street Language Guide for Making Friends. So, uh... They have this in Spanish. What is your name? And it says, Como te llamas? My name is Miamo. And she says, Miamo, Abby. So this is super cute. And my son is always trying to like speak in different languages. He has one toy that talks, tells him how to say stuff in um, German and some, like it's around the world, tells him about the continents and things like that. He loves this toy, so I said this book would be perfect for him. Oh, okay. Now, oh, guys, look. Yeah, I got the receipt here. This one was, the total was $141.16, and we had to pay, like, $62 in cash. Yep. So, yeah. And this was three weeks ago. Well, this book was not well, since October 20th. I told you I was supposed to bring this to you a long time ago, but I didn't. But anyway, here's another book, Peppa Pig, my first big coloring book. We love Peppa Pig around here. Even okay, $9.99. Yeah, this is cool. You can also make this, make this receipt. Do Christmas pictures out here. That's so cool. We're coming up with such good ideas. Go out with. And feel free, if you have kids and you vlog and you watch me or whatever, Use ideas. I don't care. I don't mind people using my ideas because you know what? Maybe your idea um, is bigger and better than mine, and I'll learn from you and you learn from me. So I don't worry about people like copying ideas. That's not even a big deal. I even actually like to give people ideas. If I think of stuff, I'll give them ideas, and I don't even think about like if I'm going to do it for myself because I try to write down ideas if I come up with something and I think, oh, that might be good. You know, they might like that. You guys might like it. You know. Then, this is geometry, a practice book. It's not for me, I'm out of school, thank God. <laughs> this is for my daughter. And algebra right now, she's in honors, math. Ooh, I don't know how she do it. Math was not my strong suit. College or high school, you know what I mean? But uh, she has a math degree, thank God. And hopefully, she'll go far with that. You know what I mean? Uh, so, that being said, that brings us to end of tonight's vlog was day one i hope you guys enjoy it please comment like and subscribe my videos are all about saving money affordable fashion lifestyle and just fun videos you know i just like to have fun with you all and just bring you stuff i'm going to be just bringing you a lot of good stuff hopefully for vlogmas if you have any ideas for me like i said put it down in the comments below and i'll try to make it happen if i can um and that's about it for right now and i'll see you day two bye lovelies have a good one.